everyone. Today, super happy to welcome to studio two incredible gentlemen who both I've known for a really long time and both are here to talk about something very awesome, a blood drive. You know we're in need of blood right now. And Mark Clinkenbeard and Tim Hayes, you all are organizing another blood drive, another opportunity for people to give in a big way. And Mark, this is something that you're so passionate about because yeah. without blood, you wouldn't be sitting on that couch right now. Right. Yeah. T take us back to Memorial Day 2020 and yeah. your accident. Yeah, three years ago on Memorial Day, I was uh, mowing a yard and a truck went off the road and hit me. Um, I was lifeline to Methodist. By the time I got there, I had lost two-thirds of my blood. Um, it literally saved my life. Um, so it's near and dear to my heart. You know, um, for those of us that knew in that moment what you were experiencing and praying for you, I often believe that divine intervention has a lot to do with saving a life, but we know that it was blood that saved you that day. And we know that it's friends who then ultimately understand and appreciate how much that blood drive meant. And that's why you're here today, Tim, in representing Gail. Your beautiful wife gave so much to make sure that this blood drive was something that would happen. Can you tell us, first of all, uh, about what it meant for Gail to help Mark and make sure that people understood the significance of this? Well, and you, you knew Gail personally. And, yep. and uh, she just was always a person that said, where can I do something to benefit those around me, the community, or people that I love, and of course, we were great friends with Mark and Dawn, and, and uh, so she, in her usual way, sprang into action and said, I'm organizing this blood drive, uh, a pint for Mark. And so it was a great success. And uh, so I, I'm not actually part of this organizing of this one. I'm just uh, here to be appreciative of the fact that, that Mark is doing this in Gail's honor. And of course, you know, I'm gonna come down to give some blood myself. Well, absolutely, but you're here because of the support that Gail showed, and you're here because Mark said, now we also understand about the victims out there of other diseases and other situations where they need blood. I mean, we really just have to continue to understand the significance of, of giving blood, and it's so easy to do. Both of you have done it before, right? Yeah. It's not hard. It's not painful. It's pretty simple. How long does it take? It takes about a half an hour total, you know, it's not bad. I, the first time I gave blood was uh, a couple months before my accident. Really? And I was scheduled to give it that week too and uh, yeah, really well, hit home. Well, yeah, who knew? Who knew yeah. what it would mean? Mm -hmm. um, Tim, when we talk about this kind of blood drive in the community, um, what would you say to someone out there who's on the fence? Why Why so important to come out in, in Gail's memory or just for Mark in general? Well. Um, Mark, as you said, Mark wouldn't be sitting here mm -hmm. except for the fact that blood was readily available for him at the scene or on the, or not at the scene, but on the ride sure. on the, in the helicopter to Indianapolis. And we all get busy. I haven't given it as often as I should. My assistant, Danielle, uh, she's given liters and liters and gallons and gallons. I don't, I don't even know, but <laughs> lots and lots. Yeah. And um, so I, I should have been doing it, should have done it more than I have. Yeah. Um, but I've, I've done it usually for special occasions, particularly like Mark's. And, you, and previous to that, when did I go? When Gail said, I'm going to give blood, you should go with me. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. And so, so Gail was the reason why. <laughs> yeah. and, and Gail's the reason why we're wanting people mm -hmm. to do this as well. Yes. If you knew Gail and, and you knew how strong her fight was against cancer, if you knew Mark and you knew how important he was then and is now to our community for all you're doing, thank you for being Thanks. a great commissioner for Vigo County. Uh, when is the event? When do people need to come out? It is Thursday, July 15th. Okay. I'm sorry, Thursday, June 15th. June 15th. Yeah. <laughs> uh, for from 12 to 6 at the annex, the Vigo County Annex, in the council room. So there's plenty of room in there. Um, the easiest way is to scan that QR code and, and uh, reserve your spot. Okay, and again, we do have that uh, QR code, guys. We can put that on the screen. You can scan it. it. It will take you right to the site where you can register. You do encourage registration, right? Yes, yes, for sure. It's going to be busy. So schedule yourself an appointment that's best for you that day. Get yourself the time that you need and come on in and do this. Do this uh, as we give a, a pint for Mark, and we do it in memory of Gail. Tim, uh, she brought so much joy to so many lives, and I always feel like people's spirits live on because of things like this. And so uh, I know I know we'll be thinking about her come the 15th as well. Thank you, Julie. Sure. I just want to 
talk about my appreciation for Mark and, and the fact that he thought to do this in Gail's memory and uh, it's touching for me and for my family and um, um, she would be very proud to know that um, more for the communities is being done uh, in her memory. Yeah. yeah. Well, she's a wonderful lady, Mark, and we will never forget her, Tim. And yeah. we thank you for thank all you. you're doing thank in you service to our community. Yeah, no, no thank problem. You. But hey, this is one we've got to do. The blood drive <laughs> coming up. A pint for Mark in memory of Gail on the 15th. Head on out noon to 6 or make your appointment. That's really the best way to do it at the Vigo County Annex. We hope to see you there. And we hope you'll stay with us because we'll be right back.